Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we will learn how to draw conventional representation of internal V-threads. See, in this a box is there and there is internal threading. So in front view I will see rectangle, in side view I will see a rectangle or a square. See this is front view, this is side view. In side view you will draw a circle. Now, there is internal threading so what I will do I will draw first circle this is freehand so you draw one circle and according to that you will draw a dotted line right because in front view you can't see that so that will be dotted Then this is a threading, right? Internal threading. So we'll have one more circle, but that will be three fourth. So we'll have one more dotted line. So this is how we generally draw conventional representation of internal V thread in orthography. In the sense, if I don't cut into two parts, but let's say if I cut into two parts, how it will look? When you cut like this, this will go away, right? So what will happen? These two will become dark. Now make sure the inner line will be dark. See, remember one thing. Inner circle will be dark and outer circle will be the one which is 3 4 is medium dark. See, this is dark. And the outer circle will be automatically medium dark. So same applies with the line also. The inner line will be dark, outer one will be medium dark. And then you can do hatching till the inner line. So this is how you will generally show V-thread. You can write naming and guideline. see so always remember this is a difference when you are going for internal thread and external thread representation so when you go for internal thread always remember the inner circle will be dark and outer one will be medium dark and when you are going for external thread profile so outer one will be dark and inner one will be medium dark and three fourth so this you should keep in mind. And this is what we need to draw as a final answer for internal v-thread. Thank you.